Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 131 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, time is ticking. All right, first complaint of the day, it is cold. <laughs> as usually, or as usual. Uh, I decided to do a little bit of a warm up with no weight, pretty much no weight on the bar just the bar and just do a few uh squats there just to warm up uh, it is too cold out here i didn't want to start with heavy weight or actually with any weight at all but with this bar it's a good start i could have put uh 20 fibers on and still be good but my joints, they act up when it's really cold or when there are changes of temperatures. So I didn't want to take the chance, I didn't want to take the chance today of uh, snapping my knees. I might, there's a small chance I might end up going out to work tonight, third shift. And I need to work. <laughs> I need to make some money <laughs> because YouTube doesn't pay me yet. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I need to do a decent warm up first, and then we'll slap the 45ers on and go for it. Now I'm gonna do way more reps on this next set, this next uh, warm up set. And as you can tell, I am doing my calf races today. Now, I might not go with all four sets of squats today. Um, as I was doing those lame squats, warm-up squats, I felt my right knee kind of reminding me that I'm getting old and that my knees are effed up. And it will be only if I do not get a phone call to work tonight. That will be the only way I'll go for a bike ride tonight. But then that will be after 10 p.m. tonight because I'm off for the next 48 hours. If I get to, if I get a phone call to go to work, well, gonna go for a bike ride <laughs> all right time is up here we go some more baby squats Thank you. 
Okay, okay. All right, let's take another break. And that's the time ticks. I'm gonna put these babies on. After the first set, I'm going to find out if I'm going to put a little more weight on it or not. But it's going to be after the first set, the first real set. <laughs> and yes, I'm still squatting baby weight looks like I'll be squatting that much for a little bit I'll attempt depending on how it goes the next couple of set we'll see I'll attempt to put some more weight on it not another <laughs> set of 45ers but something small maybe tens I don't think it will be worth to put fives on well, I'll try with 10s. 25s is kind of pushing it, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'd rather load the extensions and the curls over squat. This is more if, of a uh, ego lift, which I am hardly trying to stay away from it. I don't want to snap my back or my knees doing squats <sighs> definitely need to do more calf races way more calf races than what I've been doing in the past <laughs> and it's easy to forget doing calf races I don't know why but for me it is super easy to forget doing calf races now back in the day there was a machine where I sat there and did cab races but now I have to actually remember because there is no machine in my house. <laughs> I don't have a machine in my shed uh, to do cab races. Alright just a couple more seconds and we're gonna go with our first real set of squats all right time is up here we go Take another break. Uh, felt pretty good. Whew, a couple of the first reps I did. Uh, pretty sure my form wasn't the best. I was kind of rushing it a little bit. So my back did a little quiggly wiggly thingy. <laughs> In other words, I felt my back a little bit, my lower back trying to act up a little bit. So, it's 
slow down and kept an eye on my form. Then the rest of the reps were pretty good. <clears throat> Just remember that I forgot my inhale inside the house. And it's always like this. The days that you might need it, it's usually the day you'll forget it. I can hear myself. <clears throat> Whistling, talking about here myself. I always forget about this. But yeah, that first set was good. Felt good. Except for those first few reps. I'm gonna do one more set with that. And then the very last set, actually, I'm gonna sandwich it in, in the middle. I'm gonna sandwich the rep I was gonna talk about right in the middle. I'm gonna put tens on and give it a try. And give it a try. And I'm gonna put the handy dandy clamps on. I know, I'm kinda pathetic. <laughs> Putting those on when there's plenty of room for the desk or the plates to stay on. However, I don't want them to be flapping around in there. All right. Just a couple more seconds. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go again for it. Whew. All right, time is up. Let's try this. Let's take another break. Those little plates definitely made a difference. Ah. I still don't know <laughs> how these guys can squat hundreds of pounds with this thing digging in their back and shoulders and traps and, you know, back there. I don't know. This thing is more uncomfortable than heavy, but the heavier it is, more uncomfortable it is. Maybe I am too bony back there and it leans right on my bones. I don't know. 
not the most comfortable experience. <laughs> now weight wise, definitely heavier. I felt the weight for sure. <sighs> My time is still ticking. I'm gonna leave the tent on and hopefully I'll survive this last set because I'm gonna just leave it at three sets for today. Yeah, no. I'm gonna push it to four. Four squats. And then do the extensions. I don't know. I just know I need to sleep at least an hour before the phone rings. If it's going to ring. Water, very important. Very important to stay hydrated. The best way to be and stay hydrated is with water. If you're already dehydrated, your workout is gonna stink. Your recovery is gonna stink. You may even get sick. Tell me about it, I know. Not really personal experience, but I've seen other people. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna squat with this much, and then we'll assess the situation and see if we're gonna do a fourth set. But if I'm gonna do a fourth set, I'm gonna take the tens off. Time is up. Take the break. <sighs> Running out of air. And I don't know if it calls for inhaler yet, but we'll find out. I get a feeling that as soon as I stop doing squats, I'll get back to normal. I don't like really like using it. It's more so when I actually need it. All right, took the tens off. Back to only the 45ers on the bar. We're gonna squat it, hopefully. Hopefully 10 reps. We'll see, I kinda managed to push those eight reps up while I had the, the 10 pounders on. We'll see how it goes. Whew. 
One more set, we'll bring the bench. Hopefully we'll sit here for a little bit. And we are going to start the extensions actually with this one. With the 90 pounders on, I mean, 90 pound stool. That way, I okay, can just add the 35er on, finish the sets there, and then move on to actually the hem curls. Actually, I'm gonna start with less weight than the two together. Yes, I'm gonna put the 35 in first, and then the 45er. That way the 35er is in for whenever I turn around to do the curls. All right, time is up. Here we go. Take a break. <sighs> Felt every single rep there. <sighs> I definitely need to sit now. Whew. <sighs> 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 All right, let's dismantle this. Quick. Not really quick, but... While the time's sticking. Last time, I worked out the legs. That's how I was gonna take the bar in the next break. The bar was there the, during the entire video. Not today. Not really taking this thing and putting it away. I think here is far enough, I don't know if you can follow me in the shot, but I'll definitely be in the shot there. As I said, put the 35 on first. 
and then one of the 45ers. And do the warm up with that. Oh. Whew. Right on time, just a few more seconds to go. And it's time to start with the extensions. All right. <clears throat> Time is up. And here we go. Oh, it's good. Good warm up. Taking our first break on this exercise. And I think my legs are warm up enough. So we're gonna jump right into the big weight we put in last week. which is a total of 125 pounds. Not to brag about it, because a whole bunch of people can do twice as much, <laughs> as much weight as I'm putting in here. This is just baby weight for someone who can barely lift anything. Trying to find my spreadsheet here and see if I actually updated this information in here because now I don't remember. I don't remember doing it. Let's see. Talking about legs. Yes, I did. I'm surprised I did. <sighs> Okay, time still ticking. We have three more sets of this, and then we'll go to the curl. Not the ones on my head. Hamstring curls. Which well, should be 95. So now that is a two 35ers. Plus a 25er. That's what that is. I will try to do it all. But again, every time I do legs, my legs are very wobbly. I can't tell how hard I worked out my legs until I get up. <laughs> uh, pretty sure it happens to a lot of people. Same thing with deadlifting. Some people do a really heavy deadlift and they don't know how effed up they are until they try to make the first step <laughs> and end up heading first into somebody or into the floor because all these weight mates, the blood goes into the, some of the largest muscles on the body, which are your legs leaving your brain a little bit thirsty for blood and oxygen. Man, I have a big old bruise there. I don't know from what, well, I know from what, for whenever I did chest, having my dumbbells there. Anyway, time is up. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, crab. That was heavy. Time is sticking again. For the second break of this exercise. That was heavy. But it was too far back or I was letting it down too far down. But when my legs were going down, I was crushing this little <laughs> foamy things. It was kind of hurting back here. So I had to cut the range of motion a little bit more. Not that I wanted to have full range of motion, but the extra bit of range of motion I had at the beginning was hurting. So cut it off. <laughs> Pretty much just touching here with my calves and then back up. But that was a good set. I felt every single rep there. All right. Uh, Air-wise, I'm feeling a lot better now <laughs> that I'm sitting here. Uh, let's see where the heart rate is at. Oh yeah. It's 15 or 16 bits per minute. Is it per minute? Yeah, per minute. Lower. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Ask my lady. She is mean. But not an excuse. I'll keep on pushing, keep on pushing. She's not gonna stop me. All right, barely under a minute to go, barely. And we have two more sets of this and then we'll go to the curls. I could probably put a little more weight on it if I could. <laughs> if I actually could put another plate in there, I actually can just. I'd rather not. I don't think this was designed to handle that much weight. Uh, I found this, this exact same bench on, was it Amazon or Walmart.com? One of the two. I'm gonna check and see what's the actual weight rating for this bench. This Gold's Gym. Uh, bench the ghost gym XRS 20 Wow everything if it doesn't have an, an X and an R maybe an S there it's not good enough all right time is up <laughs> and here we go Take a break. Ah, oh, it's hard to work out the legs. They burn. All you want to is stop. All you want to do is stop. From that moment on, every rep counts. Every single one of them. So the last Four reps on that last set are the ones that really counted. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Legs are wobbly. 
Now I need to figure it out something about my legs and chest day. This darn bruises. I do bruise up easily. Maybe I had to. I need to figure out two things. First, this. How to avoid this darn bruises on my legs. And two, uh, is the, my back on the squats. I don't know if I have to wrap a towel on the, on the bar or put some cushion like this, some sort of cylindric foam. I can just put my back on. Oh, you know what? That looks feels comfy enough. <laughs> uh, just the hole is not big enough. <sighs> yeah, I have to figure something out about that. <sighs> Towel sounds more practical, <laughs> but the foam foam pillow thing sounds more comfy too. But anyway, I'm not squatting hundreds of pounds. That's just the two 45ers. Maybe if I put the tens next time. But so far it's manageable. I know I probably have bruises in my back from that because as I just said, I bruise easily. But it's not comfortable. Gotta do something about it. Definitely the legs. This bothers me. Like even when my pants rub. feels like my legs are burning anyway let's go with the third set of this and go from there here we go Take one more break. We'll do another set. And then turn around for the curls. I'll definitely have to take those two 45ers off. Put the other 35er on. And one of the 25ers from there. Put it in here and curl it until until the end of the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> and I today I decided not to have a cup of coffee. I had too much coffee. Oh, I've, I've had too much coffee this week. I need to take a break from it. Just a couple of days. And then go back to it. I'm gonna say a couple of days, I mean, maybe a week. Let the coffee withdrawal fade out. Drink lots of water, stay hydrated. Might be drink, uh, and I need to cut on the diet sodas too. Because they do have caffeine, except for, uh, I think, what is it called? Is it Coke Zero? Zero, zero sugar, zero 
calories and zero caffeine or is uh, the other the gold diet cook I don't know so many varieties of drinks out there I can't keep track of them <laughs> but definitely need to cut the uh, coffee for a little bit just for a little bit I'm gonna need it for working out as a pre-workout which is my pre-workout is coffee even though I don't drink it like right before I come to work out sometimes I drink it just before I go to work and then I still under the effects of coffee after work sometimes it's too much coffee in my system and I have problems falling asleep sometimes uh. All right, time is up. Last set of this, and here we go. Take a break while I cautiously get off of this bench. Oh, I feel like this thing is bending. <laughs> All right, let's take these things off without falling into the wall. We're back here and one of the 25ers on. Believe it or not, this is a lot of weight for me. Well, at least we're towards the end of this exercise today. Uh, let me make sure this thing is refreshed because I don't know for how long. Uh, I think those squats kind of did their part on my lower back today. We'll find out if I'll be able to sleep tonight. If my back is gonna let me sleep tonight or not. All right. For anything, let me make sure. Or let me see what my chances are of working this evening. Working third shift is not too bad, unless it's raining or it's cold. And one thing is for sure out there today, it is cold. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right. It's a 50% chance I'll work tonight. 50. Oh, all right. Time is up. Let's do this.
All right, let's take a break. Whoa. That was heavy. <laughs> Gosh, my legs are definitely dented in there. Not much of a swing in the weight to lift them up, which I like that light, that set. It was heavy, I'm not gonna deny it, it was heavy. But I think it was manageable though. Whew. Ah. Oh, and I forgot to mention about yesterday's video. I don't know where my head was yesterday. <laughs> I thought yesterday was day 130, but nope, it was day 100, I mean, yesterday I thought it was day 129, but it was day 130, today is day 131, yesterday I was supposed to start uh, checking on my calories and whatnot. By the time I realized it was day 130, it was too late. <laughs> so today, uh, today I've been keeping track of my calories, my calorie intake. And making a few changes on my eating habits and making sure that what I eat is what I need and no more. <laughs> No, I'm not going to sacrifice performance. I still need to be able to perform here in the gym, at home, and at work. So, I need to keep that in mind. Now, that being said, there's not much I can change at this point. There's, there isn't much. Maybe replace some of those bad fats with good ones. Maybe instead of eating just a regular burger or a bacon burger uh, have it with no cheese no pickles because I hate pickles <laughs> uh, but having some somewhat lean meat more so being cautious with what I eat instead of just eating whatever which is what I've been eating until now I've eaten anything I wanted to just a, with a little bit of moderation when I started this challenge. Now, besides the moderation, now I need to cut those bad fats. Anyway, time is up. Too much talking. Let's get back to it. Here we go. Take that break. Oh, is that thing gonna start or not? Oh. Okay, time to finally start to start. Wow, felt every rep there. Every single one. I might have to take some weight off. <laughs> Now back to the eating habits. So t taking the fats out might replace some of the daily calories with protein calories. <sighs> so 
so I might have protein shakes more on a, on a more regular basis from this point on. Maybe once a day or twice. As I go on on this journey, I'm learning that the calories from a protein shake or from protein source are calories that get used as you consume them. Not like as soon as they go in, but the body processes those calories and start using them as energy more than with regular food. The ones from regular foods, except for like uh, fiber, gets processed, some of it is used for energy and some of it is, gets stored and it gets stored in the form of fat. So that being said, <laughs> I don't want to store fat, so I need to give my body energy from protein and fiber. That way I can use that energy throughout the day and keep on burning fat instead of storing it. <sighs> All right, so I said I'm gonna take that 25er off and I'm going to put on 15 pounds because why the heck not, right? Oh, I'm so... Oh. I'm so out of shape. I never thought I was gonna get this bad out of shape in my life. I took I took it for granted being in shape back when I was young. It wasn't painful. I didn't even think about it. It just happened. Now, it's tough getting back in shape. Anyway, time is up. Here we go. Third set. I felt every rep there too. <sighs> Last break of the day. <sighs> so yeah, last rep of the day. And <sighs> we're gonna go home and wait for the phone to see if it's gonna ring. As I said earlier, 50% chance I'll work this evening. If I don't, I'll be up for the next 48 hours. 48 hours. Wow. Oh, let's see. I just saw something that might change standings here. They might call me. I don't know why they will call me. I mean, they will. Yeah, I might work tonight. Into my day off. All right, well, we'll find out. Oof. All right. 
Time is still ticking in our very last break. I should bring a, I should bring a bottle of <laughs> a freaking uh, lotion. I only notice my ashy legs when I'm here working. <laughs> uh, and I also notice this burn there, which I can actually still feel it. I'm gonna have to check if I have like diabetes or something, cause man, this has been a while. I don't think like every time I they like, every time I get blood work, diabetes is not one of the things. But, uh, it takes me a long time to heal. Get bruised easily. Maybe something else. Oh, my fiance is sending me text messages. All right, I guess something important on the news. All right. On that note, time is up. Last set, and here we go. hell of a set that's it for today I'll see you tomorrow adios <laughs>